Hello and welcome to the Dell EMC PowerStore video series. In this video, we will be going over and showing the PowerStore series graphical user interface called PowerStore Manager. This video will first cover an overview about PowerStore Manager and then show a demonstration of the user interface. You can find additional resources at the end of this video. PowerStore Manager is HTML5 based and promotes ease of use and simplicity. It is a single interface that manages a PowerStore cluster and related appliances. PowerStore Manager does not require any plugins to be run and supports different types of browsers as can be seen here, including Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Internet Explorer. PowerStore Manager was designed to be simple and easy to navigate, as we'll see in the demonstration. Lastly, the connection is via the traditional HTTPS protocol for secure access, and note that HTTP and redirection of HTTP to HTTPS is not supported. Now let's take a look at how PowerStore Manager looks and behaves through a guided demonstration. Once the cluster has been initialized and initially configured, the user can log in with their credentials. The default credentials are admin for the username and capital P password123 hash for the password. Note that users must change the password upon first login. When logged in, the dashboard is the landing page that is first seen. For this demo, this is a PowerStore T cluster. The dashboard gives highlights about the whole cluster and associated appliances and is divided into three main categories, as can see by the cards called Overview, Capacity, and Performance. On the Overview tab, which is shown by default, there is information about configured storage resources, an alerts list, and a watch list, which is user filled. Under the Capacity tab, the user can view the physical capacity information about the cluster. Also, from the same place, you can view the historical usage, which can be viewed by different timeframes. Data savings information is also available to view. For more details about data savings, please review the Data Efficiencies White Paper from the PowerStore Info Hub. Under Performance, it shows the performance across all appliances in the cluster. The available views can be customized by latency, IOPS, IO size, and bandwidth. Other things to highlight is the blue top bar. The bar has the PowerStore name on the left, which is always going to link the user to the dashboard page. There are also few options available on the right side of the bar. In the first icon towards the right, you can find a shortcut for Cladic Cube into your vCenter. Note that Cladic Cube must be enabled for the link to work, and similarly for vCenter connection. The next icon is the list of latest jobs for easy access. Next to that, the alerts icon shows the latest alerts with a full link to the alerts page. The person icon has some logged in user information such as change password and change preferences. And the last icon is the help icon that can be used to get more detailed information while navigating throughout the PowerStore Manager. The help is also context sensitive and directs users to associated pages in online help based on the page they are currently viewing. Moving to the bar below, next to the dashboard button, other resource pages can be found. Let's start with the monitoring page. Under monitoring, you will find all the associated alerts within this cluster, as well as the events and jobs associated with the cluster on separate tabs. Next to monitoring in the top navigation bar is Compute. Under Compute, you can find the Hosts and Host Groups page, Virtual Machines page, as well as your vCenter connection information. In this example, looking at the Hosts and Host Groups page, it lists some user-configured ESX and Windows hosts. Moving to the Storage section, users can provision their block and file storage resources, as well as manage storage containers. For more details on how users can provision storage resources, check the video called Dell EMC PowerStore Storage Provisioning. Under the Protection section, users can manage replication sessions, view and configure remote systems, as well as create and manage protection policies, which can include multiple snapshot rules and or replication rule. In this example, the replication page is shown, which lists all configured replication sessions for the cluster and their current statuses. The Migration section consists of two types of migrations. One is internal migrations, which can be used when moving a resource from one appliance to another in the same cluster and the other type is import, which can be used when migrating from existing storage products such as Dell EMC Unity, VNX2, PS Series, or SC Series to PowerStore. For more information about import, please see the white paper and the video covering migration technologies. To view hardware and specific appliance information about all the appliances configured for this cluster, select the Hardware tab. Under Hardware, the list of appliances can be found. The user can click the link to view additional details about a specific appliance. Once you are in the Appliance Properties page, there are different sections that you can navigate to similar to the dashboard layout. There are five main sections, Capacity, Performance, Alerts, Ports, and Hardware, which are all specific to the chosen appliance. Let's go to the Hardware tab. Within the Hardware tab, the user can view a graphical representation of the drives, rear view, 
or the internal view of the appliance, as well as related components. When checking the hardware properties, on the left-hand side, the user can expand each of these sections for easy selection. First, let's take a look at the drive section. Power Store Manager provides a front visual view of the drives. This view is interactive in a way that when the user clicks on one of the drives, it can tell the user the health status of the drive, what the capacity is, and what type it is, among other information. Also, the user can view drives information from all expansion enclosures if there are any attached to the base enclosure. A useful feature of this page is the ability to blink the LED of the selected drive or the entire enclosure if the base enclosure is selected when the button is clicked. This functionality is useful when needing to identify a specific drive or appliance in the data center. Moving to the rear view, the user can see the back of the appliance. The user can check the IO modules or other components near the rear of the system. A nice feature of this page, the user can reboot or shut down one node at a time by selecting the node, clicking More Actions, and selecting the option you want to perform on the node. Under the internal view, similar to the other pages, the user can click on the components and view the properties. For example, click on one of the memory dims, it shows the component state, slot, and other information. To view information about the CPU, the user can click on the node itself, which will show the CPU information as well as the total memory for the appliance. The last thing to cover in this demo is the settings section. The settings page has a lot of useful information that the user might need to enable or modify. There are different sections available under settings, including cluster, security, networking, support, and users. For example, under cluster, the user can find information about upgrades as well as the version that is currently running on this cluster. Another example, under support, an admin can enable support assist, gather data collects, or check general support to learn more about the product as needed. This is the end of the video. For additional resources, please check the following related white papers, as well as the PowerStore Info Hub for other related documentation. Thank you for watching this PowerStore video. Thank <laughs> you.